What, what is good, Mama squad? squad? And welcome back to our channel. Today we're doing a highly requested video. Why is it that the stuff that you shouldn't know is the stuff that people want, want to, to know. know? Yeah. Today we're gonna be answering your TMI oh, questions God. about our relationship, the way we view life, and just everything in general. So oh my God. we're gonna give you the inside scoop of Mariah and Bill. I feel like we've been doing a lot of sit-down videos, and I really like it because we've been getting really personal and open with you guys. And for everyone that's asking, what is the car story? I am never going to tell you, okay? You're just gonna have to. I am ne no, no, no. We're never gonna tell them. We're talking about the car story. I then. know. They're just gonna have to make up their own scenarios. I not know all y'all want to hear that, and this is all out of love. But I promise you, it's just one thing that I can't, I can't say because it's yeah, just so. You know, it's when I was a kid. So weird. And some things are good to stay private. You know what? If you're wondering what video this is from, this is from when Mariah put me in the hot seat. If you're mm -hmm. curious, we did talk about a little bit of car video. So make sure, seriously guys, make sure you guys are following us on Instagram because we ask you guys literally questions to ask us for these type of videos. And in this video is gonna be our first starting back up doing our post notification shout outs. Yes. So make sure to be commenting down below every single video as soon as we post, even if you're an hour after we post or a day, so comment down below because we want to shout you guys out and show you some love. All right, so this isn't really a TMI question. I've been seeing this a lot, which is kind of TMI. TMI also can mean like things that we haven't shared. It means we're sharing share. too much information. Yeah. So but, what are we sharing right But now? someone asked, when is your wedding date? I love you. Oh. Okay, so we said the month. We said the year, we said the month. 2024, it's in February. Yeah. Do we say the day? I don't know. Uh, okay. It's in the 20s. Okay. There we go. That's your next hint. So, so put comment it all down together. below what date you guys think our wedding is going to be. When do you think our wedding date is? That is very much TMI because yeah. we've never told anyone. We don't anyone, anyone besides the people that we know. Besides the people that we're inviting, these are the only people that they know. Bro, we just sent out save the dates. Whole stack full. So many. So I many. I went to the post office and they're like, oh my gosh, we need a second truck. Yeah. Because <laughs> We had so we many of those. I know you're here for the TMI, and I'm gonna give it to you right off the bat. Someone said, what did each other think of each other after the first time y'all went around the whole, the whole hundred yards? Okay. You know what I mean? It was good. I feel like I got really connected. You know, we yeah. were jamming to some Khalid, 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 it? Khalid. And we had a whole playlist. And so 2018, it was right? 17, right? Yeah. 17? Yeah. 2017, when Khalid was like huge, you know, when I was 18, mm -hmm. And, and that's so lit, or like roller coaster yeah. and all that. And it was just very good vibe. Songs. Yeah, so we, we I, popped that on. We I would say it was mood. good until the ending of it. Yeah. Do we share that right I now? Think we, I think we already told them. We already explained that. Is that is very much TMI. It but, is. But yeah, so what I was thinking was like, oh my God. Like, what were you thinking? I, I want to know your thoughts. Probably like, oh my God, I can't believe like I'm with this hot girl right now. No, you Doing weren't. this and it's crazy. Yeah, because you were beautiful. I mean, you still are, but like I, when I first met you, I'm like, like, Aww. that's just crazy that a guy like me was able to share a moment like this with a girl like you. I, I know. It's crazy because, like, we weren't even on social media yet. No. And, like, this is before we literally had any followers. Like, yeah. just our, like, high school followers. Yeah. We just were just normal high school kids. Seriously. No, literally normal high school kids working a nine to five job. At a much. grocery store. At a grocery store. So, I felt I felt excited and just, like, honored that yeah. I could spend the moment with her. It was it was a good time. I, I was, it was, it was a fun. great time. Here's another funny one. <laughs> How many times a week do you usually do it? Oh my god. Yes. Why do we gotta unleash the beast? Well, That's what Mariah calls it, me, by the way. The beast. Oh my god. It honestly just depends on our moods during the week. Some, oh my some god. weeks are crazy, some okay. weeks are nothing. If it was up to me, Marvel Squad. It would be every freaking day. It would be, no. Yes, it would. Multiple times every <laughs> Really? No, 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 but at least, you know, uh, you know, I mean, your boys have to eat. I feel like my anxiety medicine that I've been on kind of has lowered my drive for things. I will say, like, that's definitely a big factor of it, but I there's some weeks where I'm like... Okay, so when we first started dating, probably, like, as much as possible. Oh, like, you gotta clap. Why well, you gotta... I didn't want no, to say the word. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> 
<laughs> we need a code word for this. What are, what's, what's our code word gonna be? Like baking banana bread or something. Oh yeah, baking banana bread. Every time we're baking banana bread, Mom Squad. I think that's a good one. Um, at first, we baked a lot of banana bread. Like yeah. we literally made so much banana bread, we didn't even know what to do with it all. Now, we make a banana bread every like once a week maybe. Honestly, whenever Mariah just wants to make banana bread. Cause yeah. like I'm ready with the materials. You are, but you know, you're, I'm kind of the one. I got the, the flour, one. I got the bananas. But then there's the next where <laughs> you are, you're not ready for the banana bread, so. No, there's not. When? Bull crap. That is. No, don't even say it. No, no, don't even say it. All right, we're moving on. Wait, I have question. a question. Mama Squad, somebody asked, who's more dominant? And this can mean a lot of things. This can mean dominant in a relationship, I dominant like when baking. I'm more like, Mariah, this is how we're doing it. Mariah's definitely the more dominant. I'm the more like, curl up in a ball and cry because yeah, she scares he's... me. Um, Guys, she's making it seem like I'm a terrible you know that song? She's a very freaky girl. Get it from her mom. Her mom's a super dominant person too. Ew. Like, no. Okay. Why are you talking about my mom? Not like that? in a baking uh, way. Okay, okay. In like in like a personal standpoint. So that's where you get it from. Yeah. Your dad's pretty dominant too. Y'all y'all have two dominant people I know, I just don't in the household. That. When you say that, it makes me think totally I'm not left field. Of, and I don't like uh, it. I'm not thinking of like a baker. I standpoint. know, I know. It still makes me think of a baker standpoint. It right. creeps me. I don't put ball up in corners, by the way, and cry. Okay. He doesn't. He was just trying to be funny, but it really No, but I, I feel like I'm definitely the more emotional one you in the are. relationship. You which are. is fine. I still wear the pants, but like, you know. Yeah. Why didn't you wait for marriage? I feel like that's a really good question. Yeah. So I feel like everyone always, they have different views and like the way they view life and like things like that. I just feel like for us, we weren't really raised in like a super religious household. So we yeah. were never really taught. And I, I literally did not even know. We're Catholic and, yeah. I, and you don't have to, like whatever religion that you are or you follow or you were born and raised on mm -hmm. is awesome. I love that you have something to look forward to. And if you don't, then that's awesome as well because everyone has different views the way that we were raised we were both catholic yeah and i didn't even know i got confirmed in everything which means i went through the whole you know eighth grade confirmation and all that yeah i didn't even know that you were supposed to wait till May like that's part of like it is it, it the is. traditional like catholic way for me i just feel like i view it differently like i'm okay with doing it before me well now that it's like happened like we're not even supposed to be living together right now no we're not that's like but the, the thing is like i know i love this girl and i know i'm gonna marry her we've been dating for literally six years i felt like we were married for the past like four i get it if you're like super religious and you like you guys are dating and you get married within that year i i totally get that yeah like, that i can see like sense. you just met and like you know why would you live with someone that you just met like but I the thing is way. for me this is how i view it i feel like i would want to experience living together because that is when you actually feel everything you see how the relationship's gonna work you see yeah. how things are gonna the roll out like, that's a big thing too like a lot of people that don't don't live with each other and like I know everyone has different experiences so yes. if you have a different experience then literally kudos to you that's freaking awesome I only hope the best but a lot of people that don't live with each other first and then they just jump in a marriage mm -hmm. or jump in a relationship and live together it's they a end totally up like different clashing body. yeah because like this me and Mariah like I push her like she can only go so far yeah. she's still in the same house yeah you know what I mean I feel like it's a good way to see if you're compatible before you actually get married because like I feel like it leads to a lot of divorce which I'm not saying that that's how it is but for me that's how I view it. Like, but I also know divorce is like a sin Yeah. as well. So There's so many different things. At the end of the day... It's ultimately up to you and what yeah. you feel comfortable with and how you want to live it. But I don't think it, it, there's any wrong for any situation. I feel like if you want to do it for marriage, go for it. If you don't, go for Everyone's it Everyone's well. life like, literally plays out differently. Yeah. And no matter what you believe in or what you follow or you don't follow, you are going to do what you're going to do. And at the end of the day, if that's what you think is mm -hmm. the right decision, then do it. You know what I mean? Because it's like, yeah. at the end of the day, like you control your own life. This is just our experience and what we've experienced. So don't take our word for it. If you want to wait till yeah. marriage, do it. Seriously, I, I could do it. And I think that's married. awesome. I yeah. think that's awesome because it gives you also like a goal yeah. and like you're both working together to do something, you know, mm -hmm. so huge. So this was going to be a little TMI that we've never really talked about on our channel. Okay. This. And I feel like a lot of you can relate mm -hmm. and a lot of you might not be able to relate, but have y'all ever vaped or smoked? I want to share my high school experience because I was crazy. 
So back in my past, like with my ex and all my old friends, I vaped a lot. It, it was like every day I would vape. And then I would smoke weed all the time. <laughs> this was like in high school, guys, like my sophomore year. I was a pretty big stoner. Like I I, oh my God. I smoked a lot of weed. Do you have that little drug rug? No, I was never remember? like that. I was still girly. I will admit, I, yes, I used to smoke weed. And I've only smoked a cigarette mm. once. And that's because I puffed it. Not a very good moment for me. Like I would never smoke a cigarette again. I think they're, I just, for me, I feel like they're nasty. Yeah. Now smoking weed, I could probably do it again. But the thing is, is I don't like the way I feel when I smoke weed. I feel like I trip and I get so much anxiety. Oh my God, I already have like bad anxiety, but that, that stage, like, I don't know. I feel better sober. Like if you know me, I really don't drink yeah, often. She doesn't I, I enjoy the moment when I'm not drunk or I'm not high. I also feel like Mariah got a lot of that out of the Mm -hmm. way not that you have to go through that and, and try it because you absolutely don't but, but I, I went to a lot of she parties. did a lot of that like yeah. back in the day before i even met her yeah and like she hasn't like i don't think you've smoked in like years like years, years. i don't even remember literally the last time i actually got like drunk and this is like probably my first time i really got plastered with you was Bree's 21st birthday but you weren't even drunk. i wasn't even really drunk that was like a couple weeks ago but and before that it was like years that's again. what i mean like i don't drink and if i do drink i'll drink one drink at dinner that's yeah. it. Like, I am not a big drinker. Yeah. So. For me, at the same time, I've never, like, I grew up the total opposite. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's just also based on the people that you hang out with. Because, like, you are what your friends are and you do what your friends do. So, I was more of, like, the just, like, go and build a tree house or go on this. I, didn't, I never went to house parties. I, you know, I maybe played video games with my buddies and we hung over um, at each other's houses. But, like, we never, like, drank or did any of that. I was actually super, like, not against it, but, like, super, like, I don't want to do that. I don't, yeah. I don't care about that. And my parents say it all the time. Because I do go out and I do drink, but it's not like I He's get getting it out blacked now. out. I will say you're, get, you're getting But I don't out. get blacked out. I yeah, get no. like a little like, you know, buzz and that's it from drinking. But like even my mom and dad were like, oh, and you were the one that never wanted to do any of that. I and know. I've only smoked weed maybe, I know, twice in my life. And yeah. the second time I threw up and I just had a bad experience and I never really cared to after. I don't, I don't like the way it makes you feel. So yeah. I typically pass on it. Yeah. But yeah, that was my experience. I feel like I never shared that with you guys I don't before, think I've ever, yeah. I, We've never shared that. And I've also, I've never smoked in probably, it's been like eight or nine years. It's been a long time, like before I even met Mariah. Off the weed and the smoking, vapes and stuff like that. Do you take showers together? So I- Yeah, tell them, tell them. I like my space uh -huh. in the shower. That's my time to kind of be by myself and like she's you know, making be me. herself sound nice. I just she doesn't like showering with anyone, babe. If we had two shower heads, but I don't like like waiting out of the shower and like I, but being out of the water, is, letting you wash off. It's just even if I shower with her, we did this in the Airbnb when we went to Orlando. I literally was waiting until she it finished sucks. her whole shower. Well, yeah, she got out and then I went in the water. But no, we don't shower together because she doesn't like showering. Together. I don't, I just that's my space. Now, next house, I want to. Big, big shower, shower yeah. where we have two shower heads and enough space where two of us could be in there at the same time yeah. and like not worry about like scrunching up. I want two shower heads yeah, that's a maybe on opposite sides and have the shower like the size of like two normal showers. Yeah. That would be perfect. Then we'd probably shower. Then I would shower together, but it's just not a lot of room. It's also like when you're showering, like I'm doing other stuff and then when I'm showering, you're getting ready. So it works out when we don't shower together. Yeah, I, I personally say no. So this one is a huge, Huge question that we've never answered. Do you try to make babies often? Oh, that's a good one. Because like nobody knows about like who's trying or who's doing this and that, but do we try to make babies? Or have we ever tried? We use protection. I'm just gonna blankly say it. We use protection and that's genuinely because I'm not ready. I will say I, I have been getting really bad baby fever and I've been telling Bill I'm so excited but now that our wedding's coming up I am really protective because I just want to make sure oh, that. Oh I thought you were going to say it now I'm trying. Oh no 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 no. Yeah. But I, I don't want to get pregnant before our wedding so I'm trying my hardest to like stay protected yeah. and you know keep it low key. So we've so. never tried. Like have we had scares in the past? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've had like uncertainty 
uncertainty or like she's late on her time of the month yeah. and this and that. But other than that, like nothing's ever happened. We're not trying. We're and, not trying. And also, we're not in a rush. Like when she says that she's not ready, I'm also, it's not that I'm not ready. Like we're, it's not like we're not ready, but we're just not trying. Yeah. We know we would be awesome parents. Like oh, I would yeah. love to have a little baby, especially after seeing all of our friends and other family members that are having babies. Like it's just, it's so yeah. awesome and we're so happy for them. It's like we can't wait to be able to share our life and experience with them. Mm -hmm. but yeah, we're no, we're not crying for babies right Maybe now. Maybe we'll let you know if we are or not. I, feel I like will say after the wedding, the protection. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, that's all I'm saying because then I got 2025 Marvel Squad. Marvel Baby. Marvel Baby. Marvel Baby. Or 2024. No way. February, nine months. Oh, uh, well. Uh -huh. Huh? No, don't. <laughs> you don't know. This is a good one. So we were talking about babies. This is the last question we're gonna answer. Uh oh. Is Bill gonna watch your future child come out? I feel Ooh. like that's a good one. And I just actually saw like a video of this dude passing out after his wife had the kid. He was standing there and he was just like, and he like pass out and the yeah. doctor like had to like go grab. Am I gonna watch the baby come out? Yeah, I think I will. I really think I will. The thing is, you think I don't- pass out? Me? Yeah. No, cause I feel like I, I deal with- You deal stuff, with stuff like, like that. Yeah, though. I'm not, I don't get like lightheaded when I see blood or this and that. I don't know. Like I like scary movies and like all the stuff in scary movies you kind of get grossed out at, but me, I'm kind of like, ooh, that was nasty. You yeah, know? yeah. But the thing is, I don't know how I'm gonna be in the moment. I don't know if I'm just gonna be like looking at like from your POV, you know, holding your hand. Yeah. And I'm not gonna be like, damn, like, you know, that's my daughter, that's my son. They're probably gonna be like, babe, the kid's coming out, you yeah. know, and like, look, come look, come look. I probably end up will like, I wanna cut the cord, I wanna, oh, you know, well, do all that. Say, yeah. But like, really in the moment, I don't mind what I do. So just gotta live in the moment. I'm just like that. That's gonna be crazy. That that's gonna, gonna be, be crazy. like, like, what the heck? Like, we're gonna be doing that one day. Mm -hmm. That's, That's crazy so to think about. Crazy. I'm excited. Well, I'm not excited for labor, but I'm excited to like have that next chapter of life. Yeah. Well, I hope we answered all of the most recent TMI questions that you guys wanted to ask us. Once again, make sure to follow us on Instagram if you want to be incorporated into our videos. But before we end this video, we have to give our notification shout out. Mm -hmm. But today's shout out actually is gonna be from one of the questions that one of you asked on Instagram. On in Instagram. And this shout out is gonna go to Izzy, Izzy Gibbs Three. Izzy Gibbs Three, shout out to you. Thank you for being such a huge supporter of our videos. We love you so much. And stay tuned for our next video because we're gonna do an updated morning routine. I feel like we've added some new things in there. Oh, get ready. So it's gonna be juicy. It's yes. gonna be juicy. Our first and last routine as yes, a fiance, yep. engaged couple. Yep. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for making it all the way to the end. And we will see you in the next one. But, but until, until then, then, peace. Love, love you guys. guys.